You know, toxicity is a trait. Tattoos is a motherfucking lifestyle. What's going on, y'all? Y'all now tuned in to Sex, Money, and Ain't with your host, AM the Almighty, aka the most tatted toxin of them all. So, you know, I, I've i been hearing a couple things going on lately, and I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm going I'm to be completely honest with you. I don't understand how people feel like they can be picky and, you know, want cheap prices. Like, my thing is, here, here here's my thing, and I'm going to be honest with you. You can't sit there and ask me, Oh, can you change this? Can you do that? Can you do that? This, that, and the third. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't do all that shit and then ask me, can I give you a deal on what you want? No, motherfucker. Why would I give you a deal when you just sat here and asked me to change everything about this design? You asked me to change everything back and forth. We didn't sent this design back and forth, this, that, and the third. How do you feel like you about to ask me, can I change all this shit, do all this, like all this adjusting to how you want it? But then when I tell you the price, you get angry, you get angry with me. What type of sense does that fucking make? Like at the end of the day, if you want quality and you want the shit how you want the shit, then at the end of the day, pay what the fuck the price is. Don't sit there and ask me a question and then or ask me to do certain things, this, that, and the third. And then when I do this shit and then I tell you the price of it, you want to sit there and act like I'm wrong for giving you this fucking price. Fuck no. You you pay my fucking price. I don't give a fuck what it is because at the end of the day. And this is just me being honest. At the end of the day, if you go into a shop or if you go in, if you go to this artist or that artist, you're going to pay that fucking price. So at, my thing is, if you want something, pay for it. If you can't afford this shit, it's okay to sit there and say, you know what, I'm going to save up. I can't afford this right now. This ain't in my budget, so I'm going to save up and then I'm going to come back. I respect you more if you tell me. Matter of fact, not even just me. Artists in general will respect you more if you come to us and tell us, listen, all right, thank you. I was just getting a price quote. I'm going to hit you up when I get the money. Opposed to asking us a million and one fucking questions and then sitting there and then being like, oh, why would you charge? Why would I pay this much? That's too high. That's this, that, and the third. Well, see, here's the thing when it comes to that. My prices is my prices for a fucking reason. Because at the end of the day, I'm giving you quality work. I'm doing what I need to do. I'm making sure that your tattoo comes out correctly. My supplies, my time my artistic and creative ability, like all that shit matters. Like, and I don't know why people feel like, oh, it's only going, it shit into it. Like, why are you charging me this? Listen, don't question my fucking prices because when you go into, when y'all go, whether it's chicks, niggas, whoever the fuck y'all are, when y'all go into these, these fashion places, when y'all go to get y'all, you know, Gucci, like whatever, like all this, all these clothing brands, y'all don't go there asking them for fucking discount. You're not going in these restaurants, these high-end restaurants, asking for fucking discount. No, you're not doing it. So don't come to me asking me for that shit. And that's just me being completely fucking honest. Don't ask me for no discount. If you don't see me throwing a special, whether it's a, you know, a Black Friday sale or a holiday sale or New Year, whatever the fuck it is, if you don't see me post a fucking deal, don't ask me, if, oh, what deals you got going on or this, that, and the third. Listen, if I'm, not, if I'm too much for you, Go to a fucking artist that you can go to or you can afford. Or just stack your change and take your, stack your money and come to me. Then, then, then do that. But don't come to me asking me, yo, I want X, Y, and Z, this, that, and the third. And then when I give you the price, you fucking bitching and complaining. Don't do that shit. Because then at that point, I don't even want to fucking tattoo you no more. Because what the fuck are you getting a tattoo for if you're going to fucking bitch and complain? You, if you're going to bitch and complain, why the fuck is you even... A, if you're going to bitch and complain about the prices, why the fuck is you even thinking about getting a tattoo? I, now, I don't know what world you live in, and I don't know how the fuck you, you operate, but if you want quality, you got to pay for that fucking quality. I don't give a fuck who you is. If you want quality, you got to pay for the quality. That's just like me. If I want to go get tatted, I know a bunch of fucking artists that I can go to, but I also know that them artists, their work is worth paying what the fuck they're asking for. So I'm not about to sit here and be like, oh, bro, can you give me a discount? Because we both artists, we can go tat for tat, this, then, and there. No. Now, if he decide to be like, yo, bro, I'm going to look out for you because I know you or whatever the case may be, 
then that's another thing. That's a whole other story. But don't sit there and, and and just assume that oh I'm going I'm supposed to give you a deal or I'm supposed to do X Y and Z. I'm not supposed to do shit, but do my fucking work and do tattoos and you know make sure you take care of it right. Do, make sure everything is done properly. X Y and Z. That's my whole fucking thing. That's all I'm supposed to do. I'm not supposed to sit there and do all this cool shit like give you a discount this and that. And 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 another thing is I don't give a fuck. How long I knew you? How long you been coming to me to get tatted? I don't care. I don't care. Because at the end of the day, you could work at a job for six, seven years and still will be getting the same pay rate as everybody the fuck else, as the same pay rate as you was getting before. Or if you do get a raise, that's because you was there for so much, uh, you know, a nice amount of time. So at the end of the day, when it come to me, Oh, you knew me, cause, cause here's the th- and let me say something, cause I had a lot of people come to me and do this shit, right? A lot of people come to me and be like, "Oh yeah, I remember back in the day when you did this. You did this about four or five years ago. Remember this, John? We was at the shop up there. listen, just cause you drop credentials or you drop, um, where I used to tell it or you drop." When I did it, how long ago, when I had these dreads or when my dreads was this color, this, this, that shit don't determine you getting a fucking discount. Because people feel like, yo, because, I, oh, I'm about to tell this motherfucker how I used to be around when he was here and he just didn't there and I watch him grow. Okay, so if you watched me grow, why the fuck don't you feel like you should pay my prices now? And, and and that's just me being honest, and that's me asking the honest, genuine question to a lot of motherfuckers out there, because a lot of people feel like, oh, because you watched me grow, or because you you know you did X, Y, and Z, or I tatted you back in the day, or we went to school together, or whatever the case may be, that I'm supposed to give you a discount. No, this is my business. Just like if you started a business, I'm going to pay what your prices is. This is my business. Pay my prices. Business is business. And, and and see, I'm everybody wanna say, oh, they standing on business nowadays, right? Y'all not standing on shit. Y'all not standing on shit but the fucking ground. Y'all ain't standing on business. Y'all not standing on none of that shit. Because if y'all was, understand that when it came to dealing with another with somebody that's running a business, you you gonna pay their fucking prices. You gonna be like, okay, cool, this is how much he charging. All right, bet. Now I may not can't afford it right now, but I'm going to save up and I'm going to get back to you. I, us as artists, we'll respect that more or be like, you know what? That's not in my budget. I can't afford that right now. Like you ain't even got to tell me you can't afford it. Just that's not in my budget what I was willing to spend. OK, and I respect it. But but don't sit here and act like, oh, you don't don't hit me up asking me a thousand and one fucking questions, wasting my fucking time asking me a bunch of shit. And then when I tell you the fucking price, you like, oh, I can't pay that shit. Oh, that's that's too much for me. Bro, you just walked in here with fucking Balenciagas. Now, 9 out of 10, they fucking fake. But that's not neither here or there. You walked in here with Balenciagas on. You walked in here with this and that. You, you know what I'm mean? saying? You, you doing all this cool shit. But you can't afford to pay a tattoo for a tattoo. Now, now don't get me wrong. I don't understand that shit. Now, if that makes logic sense to you motherfuckers out there, then, then, then tell me. Tell me if I'm wrong. But <clears throat> that don't make sense to me. I don't agree with that. I don't that that make it make sense. How everybody say, make it make sense. You you walk in, you walk into a tat shop, fly as fuck. Now, for whatever reason, you going to get tatted fly as fuck. I don't understand that either. Because at the end of the day, why the fuck are you coming to get tatted fly? I, I or dressed up and this, that, and that. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. That actually just makes me think that you really got the money. Now you, you, you bet you ought to have the money. Not better, but you ought to have the money because you sitting here dressed in this, that, and the third. But then when I tell you the price, you you complaining. But then also y'all motherfuckers want quality. One thing I learned is that, yeah, like people want quality. At the end of the day, people want quality. But then when it really boils down to what what it takes to get quality. They don't really want that shit. They don't want it. They don't want to do what it takes to get it. Like, you're you not going to go here or you're not going to do this or that. That, you know, if you want to eat at the nice restaurants, you're going to pay that tag. If you want to, you know, you want to go on trips, 
to the nice places, you're going to pay that tag. You want to dress nice, you're going to pay that tag. You want to drive nice, you're going to pay that tag. So when you want to get tatted and you want your shit to look right, and you want the nice tattoos, you want your shit quality, pay that fucking tag. And that's just that's just how simple it is. Pay that fucking tab. Hey man, listen. I, it's nothing else I can really say more because it's and and again, just know your fuck. Just know your bracket. Just know what bracket you in. Cause it's art. Like don't don't get me wrong. There's artists out there on different brackets. It is. It's different artists. Is all of that. And it's not it's no shade to no other artists, but you got some artists that just charge less than others. You got some that charge more than others. It's no different. That's just like you got Walmart, you got Target. I mean, they both, you know, a variety store where you could buy a bunch of shit in. But Target shit is a little bit more quality. Walmart is not. So if you know you can't afford Target right now, or you know you're not going in a like you know when you go into Target, you you know you about to spend at least two three hundred dollars. You go to Walmart, you might spend. You might you're not really expecting because you're like, all right, I can go on Walmart and go right where I need to go, get what I need to get, and I'm out. Target, it, the way they set that shit up and the way that shit is, you just gonna be like, listen, I came in here for a fingernail clipper. Now I didn't got me a new Keurig. I didn't got me some shit for my dishwasher, for my kitchen. I didn't bought me some couch pillows. I didn't do all this other cool shit. So again, you got to know what your lane is. You got to know what your lifestyle is. If you know for a fact that, listen, I'm a, I'm at the Walmart level, then cool. If you know you at the Target level, cool. Everything has like, you know, it's a, it's a lane for everybody. If them high quality, if they're high, like them, if them high prices ain't for you, then you, you, you know, you know what I mean? You either wait until you get in that tax range or you, you know, you stay where you at. And again, there's no shade to nobody out there, but you gotta, you gotta just understand your lane. And a lot of people don't understand that shit. Like you gotta understand your lane, especially when it comes to money, especially when it comes to money. Like you, when it comes to tattoos and money, like them, them two things, they go hand in hand because you want that quality. You got to pay that tag. Like I said before, you want that quality? Pay that tag. I don't want to hear no more people talking about some. yo, I want to get a full sleeve. Can you do it for $400? Uh, you got me fucked up. First of all, let's just sit here. Let's, let's, let's really think about this, okay? Let's really sit here and think about this. So with that sleeve, let's say somebody come to me and be like, yo, I want a sleeve. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you, you want the outer part, the inner part, or you want it to wrap? If you tell me you want, you know, the, oh, you want your sleeve to wrap all the way around so you can be completely covered, now cool, now we got to come up with a design. Now we got to come up with a design. How detailed do you want it? What ideas do you got? Do you got a theme that you might want to go with? These are the things that you got to think about. Do you want color? Do you want black and gray? Do you want to do sessions? Do you want to do it all in one shot? All that shit matters when it comes to getting a tattoo. When you asking for them prices, all that shit is a very like it it it, it varies depending on all these answers that all these questions we're gonna ask you. That's gonna determine the price at the end when we tell you that, that like at the end of that conversation, if I tell you, oh, that joint will cost you two grand, don't be like, oh, what the fuck? No. According to the answers that you gave me, I'm giving you the price. This is what you want. And especially if you want it in high quality. What do you got to do? Pay that tag. So the next time you go to your artist and you be like, yo, I want to get X, Y, and Z. Whoa, how much for this? This, this, that, and the third. And you want to change a bunch of shit and you want to tell them, everything that you want in this tattoo or how you want it a certain way you want it to be so perfect it's for this it's for that it's a memorial whatever pay that tag so stay toxic and die tatted